Now here the question is, Mr. A randomly picks three distinct numbers from the set, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 9, and arranges them in descending order to form a three-digit number. And Mr. B randomly picks three distinct numbers from the set, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and also arranges them in descending order to form a three-digit number. Now the first question is, find the probability that Mr. A's three-digit number is always greater than Mr. B's three-digit number. Now this first case, this number has to be always greater. Now difference between this set and this set is, this set has 9. So if 9 is chosen by Mr. A in one of the three numbers, then in that case, number formed by Mr. A will always be greater than number formed by Mr. B. Now in how many ways 9 can be selected? So we need three numbers out of which one is already selected. So from the remaining 8, we have to select any two. Divide by 9C3. Now this is 8, 7, 2, and this is 9, 8, 7, and this is 3 into 2. Now 8, 7 will cancel, 2 will cancel. So this probability is 1 by 3. So there is this one third probability that Mr. A's three digit number is always greater than Mr. B's three digit number. Now the second question is. The probability that A and B has the same three digit number. Now for the second part, they'll have same three digit number if Mr. A picks three numbers from 1 to 8 and Mr. B also picks number from 1 to 8. Now for this, A must not pick 9. The probability that A is going to pick 9 is 1 by 3. Then the probability that a will not pick 9, it will be 2 by 3. Now we have 8 numbers available to both and from these 8, we have to select any 3. It can be done in 8C3 ways. Now Mr. B, it must choose the same number, so it will be simply 3C3 divided by 8C3 and 8C3. I will cancel. Now this is 2 by 3 and this is 1 and 8C3 is 56, 28, 84. So this probability is 1 by 84. Another way of doing it can be for Mr. A, he must choose any one out of 8. So it will be this 8C3 divided by 9C3 and B must choose any one. So it will be 1 upon 8C3. Now this will cancel, so it is 1 and this is 9, 8, 7, and this is 3 into 2, now this is 3, this is 4, 12, 12 into 7 is 1 by 84. Now we will come to this third case, when we have Mr. A's number should be larger than Mr. B's number. Now there are two cases, case 1, if Mr. A's number start with 9. So if Mr. A's number starts with 9, then in that case it will always be greater than that of B's number. And this we have already calculated in part 1. So in this case, this probability that Mr. A's number will be 9, this is 1 by 3. Now if we consider the second case when Mr. A's number doesn't start with 9. Now here we have three cases. Case 1, either A's number will be greater than B's number or both of them, they choose the same number or B's number will be greater than A's number. From symmetry we can say that number of elements in this first case will be same as number of elements in this second case. Now the probability that they will choose the same number provided the number doesn't start with 9, it will be this 1 by 56 because we have not yet taken the case 2 by 3. So it will be this 1 by 56. So the probability that A chooses a number greater than B provided A's number doesn't start with 9, it will be 1 minus 1 by 56 
divide by 2 because we have equal number of elements in both the cases. Now it will be 55 divided by 112. Now this number is greater than 9 when 8 doesn't choose 9. So the probability that A chooses a number greater than B, if it is not 9, it will be this probability of not choosing 9 which is 2 by 3 into 55 by 112. Now this is 56, that will be 55, 8, 168. Now combining the two probabilities, we we'll get our result that probability A's number will be greater than B will be 1 by 3 plus 55 by 168 and it will be 37 by 56 and that's your option A. So the correct options are B, C and A.